Просто... Oh, I wonder what the hell had happened. Send the ravens. That was your job. Your only job. We need to get back to the wall. It's a long march. We know it's out there. But we have to make it. I have and to warn them. See you. What before which has done. They... So the ravens, when they're saying about did you send the ravens? Yeah. His only job was to basically send ravens to the wall saying, Boy! It's real! It's real! It's real! <laughs> like, like that is, that was Sam's job. His only job was to let them know this shit is real weird. Literally, fuck. yeah. Like, literally. And oh. now that's why he's going, we've got to get back to the wall because we know what's out there. Yeah. Like, it's, it's real. <laughs> uh. Everyone you've ever known will be dead. Mm-hmm. Jack, you've never seen a giant before. <laughs> <laughs> I I thought he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> they said there were no giants north of the wall. <laughs> Look at John's face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't stay too long. They're shy. And they're angry. I've seen them pound the man straight fist. into the ground like a hammer on a nail. In your hearts, all you crows want to fly free. When I'm free, will I be free to go? Sure you will. Oh. And I'll be free to kill you. Yes, you agree. Slap them when they're foul. Don't look so grim, Jon Snow. Man's really likes you. You'll live another day. <laughs> I smell a crow. What do we want with the baby crow? His baby killed Coronathan. He wants to be one of us. That half-handed cunt killed the friends of mine. Friends twice your size. My father told me big men fall just as quick as little ones. Mm. Plenty of little men try to put their souls through my heart. There's plenty of little skeletons buried in the woods. What's your name, boy? Jon Snow. Your Grace. Mm. Grace? <laughs> Stand, boy. We don't kneel for anyone beyond the wall. So, you're Ned Stark's bastard. Thank you for the gift, Lord of Bones. You can leave us. The girl likes you. You like her backs now. That way you want to join us. Don't panic, boy. This isn't the damned Night's Watch where we make you swear off girls. This chicken eater you thought was king is torment giant's bane. <laughs> Can't believe this. Pop killed off and he was our enemy and I'm glad he's dead. He was my brother once, back when he had a whole hand. What were you doing with him? The Lord Commander sent me to the half hand for seasoning. Why? He wants me to lead one day. But here you are, traitor, kneeling before the king beyond the wall. If I'm a traitor, then you are too. 
Why do you want to join us, Jon Snow? I want to be free. I don't think so. I think what you want most of all is to be a hero. I'll ask you one last time. Why do you want to join us? We stopped at Craster's keep on the way north. I saw... You saw what? I saw Craster take his own baby boy and leave it in the woods. I saw what took it. You're telling me you saw one of them. And why would that make you desert your brothers? Hmm. Because when I told the Lord Commander, he already knew. Thousands of years ago, the first men battled the White Walkers and defeated them. I want to fight for the side that fights for the living. Did I come to the right place? Nice. We'll need to find you a new cloak. <laughs> Oh, mate. What? Free shipwrecks? Yeah. As a kid, I'm gonna die with gold, mate. I'm blaming you. If you took off that bit there. Don't you want to leave something to the imagination? I've never had much imagination. I want you to take it off. Sabran. Sabran. I didn't hear that. <laughs> Apologies, sir. Back away. <laughs> Keep backing away till you're outside this establishment, then back away some more. Lord Tyrion sent me. I will murder you. <laughs> he said it was a matter of life and death. <laughs> That's held up pretty well. It has, isn't it? Pod. The Queen. What are they doing here? Protecting me, I assume. Will you let me in? No, I don't think so. <laughs> if I wanted to kill you, do you think I'd let a wooden door stop me? They stay outside. I'm not afraid of you, little brother. Why are you here? I wanted to see your face. They said you'd lost your nose, but it's not as gruesome as all that. The man who cut me lost more than That's a callback to the book. In the books he loses his so he doesn't have a scar for his face, he actually just loses his nose. Oh. So he looks like an actual demon. Like because he's got no nose and he's a dwarf. So oh. yeah. But obviously it was going to be too difficult for them to be able to edit it. And like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Prophetic, prophetic. Mm-hmm. In his nose. I should hope so. The rebels came for Joffrey's head and lost their own. Thanks to father. Thanks to father. Of course it wasn't a rebel who tried to kill me. No, bit of a calm down from Chamber of the Hand. But then I don't suppose you need much room. Grand Maester Pycelle made the same joke. You must be proud to be as funny as a man whose balls brush his knees. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? The Master of Whisperers owes me a favour or two. Father told me. What do you want from him? What do I want from him? He's my father. Do I need to want something? I'm sure he loves me dearly. Yet he hasn't come to visit once since <laughs> arriving in King's Landing. My face split in half, but father never came. Going to make me cry. Why do you care what I want from him? Because you slandered me to father before. When? You told him I had my guards beat that servant girl at Casterly Rock. You did have your guards beat her. A girl of nine, I believe. I was nine too. She lost an eye, if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, I she that. stole a necklace again. It's not slander if it's true. Why are you so nervous about what I'm going to say to father? Because you're a liar. You <laughs> tell lies about me. About Joffrey? Any lies in particular? I want a backhander. <sighs> yeah, you're, you're a man, but you're not half as clever as you think you are. It still makes me more clever than you. Hmm. Oh, look at these two shining warriors. Uh, Tarin Mant and uh, so who's it of who cares? <laughs> Sir Merrin Trant. The Bron of the Blackwater. Oh, no, knight. Pod? The Bron of the Blackwater was anointed by the king himself. Hmm. You're an up jumped cutthroat. Nothing more. That's exactly who I am. And you're a grub who's better at beating little girls than fighting men. I have an appointment with Lord Tyrion. You put your hand on that door, you lose the hand. Bond's ready to go. <laughs> He's waiting on it. He's on it. <laughs> on it. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't care. <laughs> Walk in the sunshine, your lordship. A number of people in this city want to kill me. You're here to protect me. Been doing that for a while now. You're bored protecting me? Mm. I grow poor protecting you. Poor. Under my patronage, you've become a knight. I'm sure you filled your pockets. And now my pockets are empty. And if you want me to carry on protecting you, you'll need to pay more. How much? Double. Double? Knights are worth double. I don't even know how much I'm paying you now. <laughs> Which means you can afford it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it took you a few seconds for it to sink. I like that. It, yeah. I like that. <laughs> Who are you? 
I was in the battle at Blackwater. I was a captain and serving which king? Mm -hmm. The one true king of Westeros, Stannis Baratheon. Everyone thought you were dead. And your son? He may have swam ashore as you did. The wildfire took him, I saw it. I'm so sorry, my friend. I too have lost a son. There is nothing worse in this world. You were a good father. If I was a good father, he'd still be here. Stannis lives. He licks his wounds at Dragonstone. Will you take me there? There is nothing for me at Dragonstone. This war is not over. But for Salador's son, the war is over. We are both sworn to King Stannis. I am sworn to no man. But Stannis never gives up. He will regroup. He's a broken man. They say he sees no one. Not his generals, not even his wife. Only the Red Woman and burning men alive. What? They built a great fire when Stannis returned. All those who spoke against her, she called servants of darkness. They say she sang to them as they bend. <sighs> She's a problem. Yep. I'm a pirate. You're a smuggler. Servants of darkness. You're thinking Dragonstone is a good place for us to avoid. <laughs> Please, do this for me. When you're dead, I'll gather your bones in a little sack. <laughs> and let your widow wear them round her neck. We should set the siege lines a thousand yards from Harrenhal. There won't be a siege. The mountain can't defend a ruin. The Lannisters have been running from us since Oxcross. I'd love a fight. The men would love a fight. I don't think we're going to get one. Two hundred Northmen slaughtered like sheep. The debt will be repaid, my friend. For them, and for your sons. They rot in the ground while their killer runs free. The Kingslayer won't remain free for long. My best hunter's after him. The Malister. My father's bannerman. Find her a chamber that will serve as a cell. Got to keep it up. Yeah. She's your mother. She freed Jamie Lannister. The Lannisters robbed them of their sons. She robbed them of their justice. <coughs> what? This needs to be cleaned and closed. What's your name, friend? Kyburn. Lucky to be alive. Lucky. The badge looks good on you. Almost as good as it looked on me. Are you enjoying your new position? Am I enjoying it? I was very happy as Hand of the King. Yes, I heard how happy you were. You brought a whore into my bed. It wasn't your bed at the time. I sent you here to advise the King. He gave you real power and authority. You chose to spend your days bedding harlots and drinking with thieves. Occasionally, I drank with the harlots. What do you want, Tyrion? Why does everyone assume I want something? Can't I simply visit with my beloved father? Somehow, I forgot to visit his wounded son. Mr. Pycelle assured me your wounds were not fatal. I led the foray when the enemies were at the gate, while your grandson, the king, quivered in fear behind the walls, bled in the mud for our family. And as my reward, I was trundled off to some dock little cell. Mm. What do I want? Be fuming. Jugglers and singers require applause. You are a Lannister. Do you think I demanded a garland of roses every time I suffered a wound on the battlefield? Now, I have seven kingdoms to look after, and three of them are in open rebellion. So, got way too tell much me skill what you yeah, want. That's stress. I want what is mine by right. Jamie is your eldest son, heir to your lands and titles. He is a king's guard, forbidden from marriage or inheritance. The day Jamie put on the white cloak, he gave up his claim to Casterly Rock. I am your son and lawful heir. You want Casterly Rock? It is mine, by right. We'll find you accommodations more suited to your name. 
and as a reward for your accomplishments during the Battle of Blackwater Bay. And when the time is right, you will be given a position fit for your talents so that you can serve your family and protect our legacy. And if you serve faithfully, you will be rewarded with a suitable wife. And I would let myself be consumed by maggots before mocking the family name and making you heir to Casterly Rock. The cunt. Oh, yeah. Why? Why? You ask that? You who killed your mother to come into the world? You are an ill-made, spiteful little creature, full of envy, lust, and low cunning. Men's laws give you the right to bear my name and display my color, since I cannot prove that you are not mine. To teach me humility, the gods have condemned me to what you waddle about, wearing that proud lion that was my father's sigil and his father's before him. But neither gods nor men will ever compel me to let you turn casterly rock into your whorehouse. Go now. Yeah, man. Speak no more of your rights to casterly rock. He said it in the f first season. Mm. A dwarf is a bastard in all father's eyes. He's a cunt. Go. Marine's fucking more intelligent, both Jamie and Cersei. Mm. And one more thing. The next whore I cut in your bed, I'll hang. Dawn. It's going to dawn. It's carrying silk, and it's supposed to bring back wine in exchange. But it's not coming back. The captain's tired of risking his life so King's Landing lords and ladies can get drunk on better wine than they deserve. Get wine and rum. He's going to stay in dawn. Wait out the winter where it's beautiful and warm. I met some people in Don who weren't so beautiful and warm. Don't ruin the game. What about that one there? That one? It's going to Volantis. Why? Because when I got on a ship in Volantis, it looked like that one. <laughs> That's not how the game works. You've got to invent a story about where the ship is going and why. Why should I make up a story when I know the truth? Because the truth is always either terrible or boring. Mm. Every day for it. Go wrong there. Mm. Watching the ships. Might I speak with Lady Sansa alone for a moment? I saw your mother not long ago. She's very eager to see you and your sister. Are you alive? You said you'd take me home. You said King's Landing was your home. Hmm. You were the property of the Crown. Stealing you would be treason if you were to tell just one I person. won't tell anyone. How do I know? Because I'm a terrible liar. You said so yourself. Hmm. Please, Lord. How are you going to lie to everyone me else? Tell me when. Not tell anyone. I'm waiting for word on an assignment. That was yeah, but that's where my hole is in that story. She goes, she goes. I won't tell anyone. How do you know that? Because I'm a terrible liar. Then how are you going to lie to everyone else that you're not getting taken by me? If you're a terrible liar and they go, so Sansa, is Lord Baelish helping you? How are you going to get out of that situation? Run. Wait. You, you just convinced you me a, not to help you. Say you have a toilet emergency <laughs> and you don't want to ruin just the saying. floral dress. I'm just saying. That's how I would have heard it. I see you. You haven't liked the video yet. Why not? Go on. Go like it. While you're at it, you know you want to subscribe. And if you want to go to our social medias, all the links you need are in the description box down below. And you might as well head over to our Patreon as well, where you can get extra bonus content if you're enjoying this. That link's in the description box down below. But we'll get straight back into the video. Love you guys. Take me far away from the capital. When I set sail, I might be able to take you with me. But you'll need to be ready to leave on a moment's notice. You're her handmaiden. Yes. And you're his... I help manage his affairs. He's an important person. So is she. I grew up in the shadow of her father's castle. The day she was born, they rang the bells from sunrise till sunset. We've both done rather well, you and I. Yes given where we started. And the war is dead. It's not easy for girls like us to dig our way out. Watch out for her. I always do. Watch out for her with him. Hmm. Hmm. Good advice, gun. Yes. Fast enough. Can't wait that long. I need an army. We'll be an ass to pour by nightfall. Some say the unsullied are the greatest soldiers in the world. The greatest slave soldiers in the world. 
The distinction means a good deal to some people. Do those people have any better ideas about how to put you on the Iron Throne? It's too beautiful a day to argue. <laughs> You're right. They're the first Sothraki you've ever been on a ship. They followed me across the poison water. Others will, and with a true Kalisar. The Dothraki followed strength above all, Khaleesi. You'll have a true Kalisar when you prove yourself strong, and not before. Your Grace. Heard you were dead. Hmm. Not yet. I had hoped to speak to you alone, Your Grace. We are alone. Your Grace, you are the rightful king. Not only by blood. You're an honorable man, a just man. And there is still a war to fight. I am fighting. By burning prisoners alive. How would you punish the infidels, Sir Devil? I do not judge people for the gods they worship. If I did, I'd have thrown you in the sea before you mm. ever set foot on Dragonstone. I'm not your enemy. You are my enemy. Was it me you fought on Blackwater Bay? Did I set your ships ablaze? I wasn't there when the wildfire killed our men by the thousands. I could have saved those men. You would have taken the city, Stennis would now sit upon his rightful throne, and you would stand beside him. But I wasn't there. Do you hear them screaming? Mm. All those burning men in the water, crying for their mothers, until the moment the Blackwater swallowed them. Despair, Sir Devils. But I told your son is true. Death by fire is the purest death. This uh, woman is evil! She's the mother of demons! Take him to the dungeon, lock him in a cell. You've chosen the darkness, Sir Devils. You must destroy us all! I will pray for you. Your priest! <laughs> to the pussy. Lost to the fucking pussy, R.I.P. Where have we stopped? It's Lady Marjorie, your grace. What is she doing? Who gave her permission? My lady. We should have guards, my lady. Why? Pardon me. Stop, my lady. You'll ruin your dress. I have others. Would you like to speak with her, your grace? No. PTSD. He was a soldier. He went to fight on the walls. When the ships came to Blackwater Bay, he never came back. And your mother? She died when she had me. Bad men wanted to come into this city and do terrible things, but your father stopped them. Whenever you look at this knight, I want you to remember your father. He wasn't a knight. He was just a soldier. And what do knights swear to do? Protect the weak and uphold the good. Your father did that. Be proud of him. Was your father a soldier too? You should be proud too. Under King Joffrey's leadership, your fathers saved the city. They saved us all. From now on, we're going to take care of you. Yeah, man. Very smart. A lot was just doing. Need whatever you need to feed them, clothe them, or house them. Directly to me. <laughs> she, she is good. Your Grace. Your Grace. Please sit. Sit. Small council meetings. What point has become treason to waste the king's time? <laughs> you don't like it's a lovely that. gown, my lady. Yes, uh -uh. it suits you perfectly. I imagine you might be rather cold. The climate is a bit more forgiving back in High Garden, Your Grace. Shall I have them bring you a shawl, my lady? I am touched by your concern, Your Grace. Luckily for us Tyrells, our blood runs quite warm, doesn't it, Loris? Yes. Loris, isn't the Queen's gown magnificent? The metalwork, I've never seen anything like it. You might find a bit of armor quite useful once you become Queen, perhaps before. Joffrey tells me you <laughs> the flea bottom. Yes. I paid a visit to an orphanage the High Septon told me about. Archie does a great deal of work with the poor back in Highgarden. 
The lowest among us are no different from the highest and approach them with an open heart. An open heart is what you'll get in Flea Bottom if you're not careful, my dear. Not long ago, we were attacked by a mob there. We had a full complement of guards. It didn't stop them. The king barely escaped with his life. My mother's always had a penchant for drama. Facts become less and less important to her as she grows older. Mm -hmm. Our lives were never truly in danger. You're right, of course, but you are your father's son. We can't all have a king's bravery. <laughs> <laughs> pussy fuck pussy uh. hunger turns men into beasts i'm glad house Terrell has been able to help in this regard they tell me a hundred wagons arrive daily now from the reach wheat barley apples we've had a blessed harvest and of course it's our duty to assist the capital in time of need as Sir Laura said lady marjorie has done this sort of uh, charitable work before i'm sure she knows what she's doing sure she does she doesn't like now she's got a proper competition on her own. Oh, yeah. Now she's got a girl that yeah. knows. Marjorie knows. Get the people to love you. Yeah, man. Get them to love you. You ain't got to fucking worry about nothing. Uh-uh. Nothing. This is supposed to not have subtitles. She's going to translate. The unsullied have stood here for a day and a night with no food or water. Oh, I know who she is. Ooh. I think she's burned out a fast furious, if I'm not mistaken. Such is their obedience. It sounds like her voice. They may suit my knee. Tell me of their training. What, Letty? No, 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 no. Um, God's eye. No, no, that's her. They begin their training at five. Every day they drill from dawn to dusk until they have mastered the short sword, the shield, and the three spears. Only one boy in four survives this rigorous training. Their discipline and loyalty are absolute. They fear nothing. Even the bravest men fear death. Jezanti i vetra shivali ne. Vetra ze vebit. Svagizi ai. Do svagizi. Skatala je kupri. Inda kuma u prizino. I vetra skoji ne dovo hedi dosi. My master says the unsullied are not men. Death means nothing to them. I vetra beza ezi mach. He begs you attend this carefully, your grace. Oh, Zandi. Tell the good master, there is no need. My master points out that men don't need nipples. Busy, let's clean it. Now to Tago. To win his shield, an unsullied must go to the slave marts with a silver mark, find a newborn, and kill it before its mother's eyes. This way, my master says, we make certain there is no weakness left in them. You take a babe from its mother's arms, kill it as she watches and pay for her pain with a silver coin. Las Angoda, la Megalebo Vajimisa, the Arujo Mori. My master would like you to know that the silver is paid to the baby's owner, not the mother. What? If it's a slave woman who gives birth to a baby. Oh, it's the owner that, right, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Keep going. Oh, wow. Okay. How many do you have to sell? 8,000. Master Krasnus asks that you please hurry. Many other buyers are interested. 8,000 dead babies. And sell it a means to an end. Once I own them, once I own an army of slaves, what will I be? Do you think these slaves will have better lives serving Krasnus and men like him or serving you? Be fair to them. You won't mutilate them to make a point. What? Who's the... Oh, You won't order them to murder babies. A great injustice has been done to them. Closing your eyes will not undo it.
you my life, sir. The honor is mine, my queen. King God, old man, when was with Joffrey. You remember the old King's Guard? Yeah. You remember the first uh, gold coats? Yeah. Um, he was a part of it, and then when Joffrey took over, yeah, him and Cersei said he was too old and that he had to take a step down. Right. And yeah. remember, he ripped his coat off and yeah. said, "I wouldn't serve you." Yeah. You know, you're not my type of king. Or he's just gone and found someone he wants to serve because he served the mad. He served the mad king. Mad king, which yeah. is a Targaryen. So yeah. he went and found him. I know him. One of the greatest fighters the Seven Kingdoms has ever seen. And as the Lord Commander of Robert Baratheon's Kingsguard. King Robert is dead. I've been searching for you, Daenerys Stormborn, to ask your forgiveness. I was sworn to protect your family. I failed them. I embarrassed and sell me. Kingsguard to your father. Allow me to join your Queen's Guard, and I will not fail you again. We got two bad mm, men! Yes, we got brother! Two bad men. Yes! Boom. Another great, great episode. That is the start of this season, Jack. How are we feeling? We liking it? Very good. I like it. I like it. Setting up, setting up, finding out what's going on. Yeah, man. Oh, good, good. How good are you guys looking forward to the next one? You know what you need to do. Like, comment, subscribe. We will catch you in the next one.